Hey guys, Ben here, and welcome back to another video. We are currently one week away from Crisis on Infinite Earth, so maybe some new trailers in the next few days, you know, with Supergirl coming out tonight, you got Batwoman, and then you got the Flash and Arrow and everything. But if you do go on to enjoy the video, please be sure to leave a like and a comment, and subscribe if you're new so you don't miss any DC TV videos later this year. So we're going to be talking about like a range of different stuff. We got the Supergirl stuff to do with Lena first, and then we've got a Red Death theory, so that's to do with the Flash, and then also we've got some Crisis stuff about some upcoming cameos that are going to be appearing in the crossover. So let's talk about this Supergirl stuff first. So there was a recent interview with Katie McGrath, who obviously plays Lena Luthor on the show via TV Guide, and so... I've got some quotes here, we're going to talk about them, talk about my ideas about, you know, Supergirl and Lena, and how everything's going. Obviously, Supergirl's got its new episode tonight, the mid-season finale, so my review will obviously be out tomorrow for that, so be on the lookout for that. But let's talk about this. So, I've got some quotes, we're going to read through them. So, in regards to talking about Supergirl and Lena's relationship, like friendship, this is what she has said. I think there's always potential, you know. I think the writers are very smart and I think they have a very clear and articulated plan about what they are doing. And I would hate to think that you're not going to get Kara and Lena back as the way they were before. And I think fundamentally Lena is a very good person. And I think she does just miss her friends. She misses Kara desperately and a part of me believes that Lena would do anything to get back at that if it meant that Kara wouldn't, as she thought, betray her again. If Lena felt that Kara couldn't betray her again, I think Lena would do anything to get that friendship back. I think the illustration of that is how hurt she was. You couldn't feel that amount of hurt if you didn't actually care. Okay, so let's talk about this. So obviously this is just Katie McGrath's opinion and this is just going to be my opinion regarding, you know, Lena and Kara. So obviously Lena found out at the end of last season that Kara is Supergirl, she felt betrayed. And so she was practicing trying to kill Supergirl because that's how hurt she was using her VR tech. She's done that many times, so she has intentions to kill Supergirl, right? And, you know, she's been going behind Kara's back even when Kara revealed that she was Supergirl to her. And obviously last episode, Lena exposed her real feelings about everything. And I think Kara still, because she's so nice, she's sort of got a bit of sentimentality towards Lena, even though Lena's doing these sort of evil things. She's obviously took the Myriad device, she wants to do it to sort of zombify, you know, National City, so she has extreme villainous intents, and she is definitely in the villain section, and she's really towing the line between becoming a real main villain, and, you know, she completely has betrayed Kara more so than Kara ever betrayed her, because, you know, she is trying to kill Kara essentially because she didn't tell us something which obviously was meant to protect Lena. So what do I think about what she said? I think that obviously she's being quite optimistic saying that like the writers you know they have a plan. I think they are you know they have some sort of plan about them but you know I think it's just depending on whatever they feel like doing on the day and so she hates to think that Kara and Lena would not get back the way they were before in their friendship and I just don't see that happening. I see that maybe they fix themselves, but I don't see Kara actually forgiving Lena in the way that, you know, maybe Lena wants eventually, because Lena has gone this far, and I think she has gone a little bit too far to go back to exactly the same way they were before. If she was just feeling betrayed and she didn't want to talk to Kara, I think they could get back to normal. But, you know, with all the steps she's taken going against Kara and Supergirl, and obviously killing Lex, which is illegal, I think that maybe she's gone a bit too far. I think there is a possibility definitely that they could become friends again, but I don't think it will be the same as before. So maybe that's a little bit optimistic, but that's just obviously, these are my opinions. And so she thinks that she is a very good person, which I don't think is true. I think she's obviously very villainous, but obviously she has a good side, which we've seen over the seasons. And she apparently just misses her friends. And I don't know if I believe in that sort of idea that she just misses her friends and she's doing this. Because if she really missed her friends, she would talk to her, right? She would do this rather than actually zombifying and like turning against National City and controlling everyone because she is hurt. So 
that's just my theory and my opinion on, you know, the way that Lena's thinking. Obviously, you can completely disagree with me. Obviously, I'm disagreeing to Katie, but that's just her opinion. This is my opinion. So, yeah. Anyway, so also, she said a few things about being in crisis. So, this is what she said. It's been kind of nice because every year I'm never involved and I've always felt a little bit left out because it's such a huge thing and a big deal and kind of very special because obviously so much of everything leads up to it. So yeah, I'm actually kind of excited to see her in a crossover. I don't know what sort of role she's going to play. I think she's going to be sort of similar to Lex in that they're going to be helping, but only because it's, you know, the fate of the earth that is at stake. If you don't have an earth, you're going to be dead, you can't do anything, so you can't continue with your plans. So I don't think that Lena is going to go against, you know, and forget everything she, that she's been doing. I think she's just going to take a break from that and help stop the Earth being destroyed because otherwise, you know, her plans can't go forward. So, yeah, I reckon she's going to help everyone but then go back to sort of her more villainous stuff. Okay, so let's move on to talk about this theory about the villain in the back half of The Flash, so season 6. So to do with Red Death, so this is coming from Reddit and I think it's a really good idea and I really wanted to mention it and you know I don't think it warrants like a whole video because I've talked about similar ideas before. So with next episode Ramsey is infecting the city as we saw in the recent trailers, there is a possibility that you know we could bring back the Godspeed clones you know at the start of the season that haven't been brought back. I don't know how likely it is. But the theory is really cool and so this is how it goes so imagine there was a clone of godspeed which somehow got infected and that could become the red death that obviously makes a lot of sense and i don't know how likely it is but i think this could be a way to twist godspeed and obviously get a new villain for the back of the season and you probably want to set up the main villain maybe in this next episode in the mid-season finale because Maybe you don't have enough time in the back half to have an introduction episode, then, you know, you're fully getting into it because we really don't know who's going to be the back half of the season villain. You know, nothing's been hinted apart from last season. They mentioned Red Death, so all of us have still been theorizing Red Death is going to be that villain. So it's a kind of likely scenario considering they set up that Godspeed stuff. And I think, obviously, the way that, you know, you could bring in Death into a speedster would make a lot of sense if it's to do with the villain that we've got right now, Bloodwork, because he, you know, kills people, takes their powers, takes control of them. So what do you think about that theory? Let me know in the comments down below. Now let's move on to talk about some Crisis stuff. So some people have been asking for me to comment on this. So this is in regards to some cameos that haven't been announced from Crisis on Infinite Earth. So obviously we had a load of leaks and a load of announcements in regards to who's coming. Just for instance, we got Tom Welling coming, we got Erica Durant, they're playing different versions of Superman and Lois Lane. We got Brandon Ralph as Superman, obviously not a cameo, like a bigger role. And obviously our normal versions of Superman and Lois Lane are going to be showing up because, you know, this is going to set up their new show, but also they're just returning. Also, John Wesley Ship is back as Earth-90 Flash. We got Kevin Conroy and Burt Ward showing up. So Kevin Conroy is going to play a version of Bruce Wayne, Burt Ward is just going to play himself. We got Ashley Scott, who was from the Birds of Prey show, she's showing up, maybe as Huntress again. And then we've got a version of Ryan Choi showing up, and we've got the Spectre showing up. And so that has got me thinking. With Mark Guggenheim confirming that there are more cameos showing up, obviously they could CGI them, they've been doing some shoots in the studio obviously, they can hide that, you know, so no leaks can get out about that. However, there was this poster that was released the other day, it's not a final cover as it says on the bottom of it, however, it's been created, it's been drawn, and it's for the TV show, so... Obviously, this basically confirms that maybe some of these characters might be showing up, but in this cover, we've got Supergirl, we've got Green Arrow, we've got The Flash, and it looks like Felicity, so maybe Felicity makes a cameo, I don't know. However, we've got the Ray and Kid Flash in the cover, so that would make a lot of sense if the Ray came back, because, you know, he was in Elseworlds and we haven't seen him since. Obviously, he had that animated show for a little bit, I don't know if they're continuing doing that or not. So that would make a lot of sense, and that's kind of exciting. Kid Flash, I was not expecting that. Hopefully he does show up. I think that would be one of the cameos in the crossover, because we know that they are planning to bring Kid Flash back for a couple of episodes this season on The Flash, so would make a lot of sense. 
maybe we get a Power Girl cameo. I would say that that's a pretty good chance. Also, maybe a Superboy cameo. Obviously, we've got loads of Superman who are showing up, but I think there is a chance. Also, there was talk of Titans potentially showing up. There was definitely a scene written into the crossover, so whether that's happening or not, we don't know. So let me know your theories in the comments down below as to who else will show up in the crossover. So that's about it for this video, guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed this sort of mixed video of all the different shows and the crossover as well. Thank you guys for watching. We're really close to 100,000 subscribers. We are 200 away. 200 guys share the video around share the channel around we're gonna do some awesome stuff for 100,000 subscribers so i'll catch you guys later goodbye I see red.